So guys, just before advancing a very rapid or a quick note is on the Newton corrections. So many di diatomic molecules may be corrected with this uh, principle. So this guy, Newton, corrected the actual di diatomic molecules such as hydrogen, helium, and so on, nitrogen, all the diatomic molecules, they, instead of just using the critical temperature at an 8, or at here, the pressure at an 8, and be sure to use these units and not other units. So if you have pascals, please don't add 8 pascals, use the equivalent on 8 atmospheres. And these equations are known as the Newton corrections and are, are pretty important. For example, you have a critical point on 100 Kelvin. If it were a diatomic molecule, you will have to correct that and you will get 808 kilo uh, Kelvin. And that's about 8% error if you wouldn't do the correction. And I personal, personally don't use it that much but if you are speaking about theoretical concept, this is a very important theoretical concept. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.